uh, Coach Golden let me speak to the kids, and I, uh, you know, I had a great opportunity when I came here as a football player from high school, and, and I tried to uh, convey that to the youngsters out there yesterday. We had a great opportunity they have for an education and also for an opportunity possibly to get into pro football. And uh, they're very attentive and they're playing well today, so I just I really feel good about it. What do you think about uh, Coach Golden? What, what were your thoughts on meeting him? Well, it, you know, I've, I've watched uh, the U on, on television so far this fall and watched him on the sideline, but uh, meeting him was a treat. I thought uh, he's uh, got a lot of energy. Um, he uh, knows what he's doing, and he is, he's got his players at his heart, and uh, he's going to be very good here. When was the last time you were here, Joe? Is this the first time in a long time? Or? No, I was here a couple years ago when I got my uh, the Ring of Honor. Okay. And um, I, I used to come quite often because uh, Sally's mom and dad lived here, my wife. And uh, they both have passed away, so we don't come too often anymore. But I do come uh, as much as I can. We'll be here again in December to play the Dolphins. I come with a team. I, I'm still with the organization, and we travel. So I'll be uh, coming here for that game. And uh, when I get a chance to, to go fishing in April or May, I come down and go fishing. What do you do with the Raiders? What's your position? Well, it's, it's funny, you know, they say, uh, Jim, what do you do with the Raiders? And I tell them anything I want to do. <laughs> I've been around a long time, so uh, I, I help with uh, special projects in the administration. I have never been in uh, personnel or football or anything like that. I've uh, stayed in the administration and uh, have done a lot of business things. There's a, have you talked to, to Marcus Van Dyke? Uh, yes, I, I've seen him in the locker room out there. And uh, when, those, when we get uh, any uh, hurricanes uh, with our team, uh, they, they seek me out. And they want to see what I look like and who I am. <laughs> and it's kind of cool. Did any of those kids uh, yesterday know about you, Jim? Or uh, obviously they were born long after you finished playing? But... Well, there were there were several of them uh, after I was uh, introduced to them came over and wanted to talk to me and uh, ask me some questions. And uh, Chicolo's uh, grandson or great grandson, whatever uh, he looks like, an up and coming young uh, athlete. And uh, so he stopped and talked to me, and it was kind of neat to. Because I used to look up to Chicolo, and he, he seemed like he was 20 years older than me. Maybe he was. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, uh, one of the things that you, you were known for is the, the, the knees and, the, and you know, your the physical condition. How are you nowadays? I was known for more than that. I used to well, knock I mean, people down. I know. I know. I don't think, I know, man, Jim. I know. But, it, I mean, it wasn't worth it. I mean, the, the, the toll, I mean, it's still, you'd still be You know, I, I can come here to Miami and I go other places around the country and I run into football players wherever I go because I'm in all the big cities and I feel great. I, I played the football game because I wanted to. I came here to the University of Miami as a high school kid and I wanted to be a star here and I wanted to play the best that I could be. And I did that at a price, but uh, you don't get anything for nothing. You know, if you're not willing to put it on the line, get the hell out. You know, get off the line, and that's the way I feel. And I paid the price, but uh, I'm still happy. I see Mr. Pope there, and, and I haven't seen him in a hundred years. So, how are you, sir? Good to see you, Jim. Good. And what, what's better? I can run into some old friends, you know, and uh, and also be with uh, a lot of good people. Football's been good for me. How much do you keep up with you? What do you think? I mean, they're four and four right now, and you know the investigation. Al Golden coming in for the first year. Are they on target, or what do you think about uh, where they are right now? Well, I think they're on target. I think uh, Coach Golden is uh, going to be doing a good job here. The uh, you know. You can't have distractions, and that thing that happened early in the year is a tremendous distraction for this team with the suspensions uh, of some of the athletes and everything. It was unfortunate, uh, but I think they're going to get over that now, and uh, Coach Golden is uh, going to take them, and uh, we're going to be very happy around Miami, I'll guarantee you. Thank you. Thanks so much, Jim. Appreciate Thank the time. You, you